Losing a limb is nothing short of devastating, but modern technology has made it possible to continue leading a normal life. The most common way to address the loss is a prosthetic arm or leg, which does a pretty good job of returning some flexibility and dexterity to the person wearing it. Earlier, fake limbs couldn't do much, but as our tech evolved, so did prosthetics. It's a great time to be involved in prosthetic development, too, because there have been quantum leaps in research and understanding of how the human body works. Some of the prosthetics we'll look at today will amaze you because of their ability to make you part man, part machine. But before we dive in, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Number 10. Eye Limb No, it's not another product from Apple. The Eye Limb is the world's first commercially available bionic hand, released in 2007. There are several versions of the hand, including the Eye Limb Access, Eye Limb Quantum, and Eye Limb Titanium, among others. But the basic foundation of the device is the same across all products. These are multi-articulating prosthetic hands with five individually powered digits, offering an electrically rotating thumb with a manual override. The way the hand works is it allows you to have control by using muscle twitches in the stump area. Certain muscle twitches trigger specific positions for pre-configured grips. So, for example, two quick muscle twitches will activate a pinch grip, and you can also control gestures and set command shortcuts on the app. It also comes with Auto Grasp, an anti-drop safety feature. Since its release, the prosthesis has only gotten more advanced, offering a speed boost feature that can be increased to 30%. Number 9. Power Knee for people who had to undergo above-knee amputations, using traditional prosthetics can be difficult. You'd be adapting to a whole different way of walking without assistance from the knee. But Ulcer came in with a solution, a bionic knee called the Power Knee. Power Knee helps active flexion and extension while walking and facilitates symmetrical weight distribution, so you have a more natural gait. Active users have reported that the device restored their endurance and reduced the typical rehabilitation time required after surgery. The software also enables prosthetists and physical therapists to give users visual feedback during training. It logs and reports on user performance and prosthetic use for better reimbursement documentation. With the power knee, users can walk normally and more naturally because it essentially replicates the muscle activity needed to bend the legs. They can also learn the user's walking pattern and gait to be more efficient and comfortable. Number 8. Luke Luke, or Life Under Kinetic Evolution, is an arm that has been under development for 10 years. It has been tested by 100 amputees and used for over 10,000 hours. It allows people to perform more complex tasks than they can with current prosthesis in a way that better resembles the natural motion of the arm, and it comes in different configurations. The arm is also strong enough to lift a bag of groceries from floor to a tabletop and even gives users a sense of how firm they're grasping something, thanks to the built-in sensors. But the most impressive feature is probably its ability to reach all the way back and scratch your back when you need it. It's all controlled from input devices like EMG electrodes and pressure switches, but it's also possible to operate via wireless IMUs that you wear in your shoes. You and the clinical team will work together to develop an input configuration that best meets your needs. Number 7. Finger Prosthesis Custom designed and suited to fit your daily needs, Naked Prosthetics has durable finger prosthetics to help people with finger amputation. They are made from medical-grade nylon 12 and have silicon rubber tip pads to mimic natural fingertips. These improve grip, strength, and articulation while also protecting you from further injuries. These prosthetics are partly printed by 3D printers and partly made by machines, and there are three versions of them depending on your needs. The PIP driver is a body-driven prosthesis designed for people with amputations through the middle phalanx, which is the first knuckle on your finger. Each device is custom designed within millimeters of the patient's anatomy, so mimicking their complex motions is possible. The MCP driver model is designed for people with amputations on the proximal phalanx, which is the base of your finger. Finger. The third type is the thumb, arguably the most important part of the hand. The thumb driver model features an anchor design that tracks the patient's natural motion and provides a rigid structure to react to the heavy forces generated by opposition. The tip has an adjustable preflex, and the fingers are designed to work uniquely with the thumb in opposition. Number 6. Argus 
Argus is a retinal implant created by Second Sight that improves vision in people affected by retinitis pigmentosa. It works with a retinal implant and an external camera mounted to eyeglasses connected to a processor. The camera records the image, processes it, then sends the information wirelessly to the implants in the eye. The implant then stimulates the remaining retinal cells to give the user visual information. It's still only a limited amount, and it certainly doesn't cure blindness. Still, it's definitely one step closer to restoring vision for the blind. The surgery only takes a few hours and is performed by Second Sight technicians. Once it's in, the implant sits in around the back of your eye. It comes with all the accessories, glasses, a built-in camera, and a portable processing unit. After four weeks of having it implanted, you return to the clinic so the technicians can activate Argus for you and program it for your specific needs. Number 5. Oom Conversations are a huge part of our lives, but certain advanced throat cancers require the removal of the entire voice box. Sometimes you can still regain the ability by implanting surgical devices, but these implants don't come cheap. They can sometimes even run up a cost of $1,000. But surgical oncologist Dr. Vashal Rao developed a fully functional voice prosthetic specifically for throat cancer patients. And get this, it costs less than a dollar. The Oom prosthetic managed to get so cheap thanks to the manufacturers, suppliers, and scientists who volunteered their time to the project. The finished prosthetic only costs about 75 cents. It weighs only a gram and is made from medical-grade, platinum-cured silicone. In addition to its groundbreaking affordability, Oom only takes about 15 minutes to surgically implant. It works thanks to a basic physics principle that sound is created when an obstruction is introduced to the passing of air. Air is redirected from the lungs to the esophagus, where food normally passes. This obstruction can be used to create sounds that resemble regular speech. The voice won't be as crisp and clear as before surgery, but Oom still makes communication possible for cancer patients who otherwise would never have been able to afford prosthetics. And by the way, there are no electronic parts to this prosthetic either. Number 4. Thought-Controlled Prosthetics a robotic arm doesn't quite provide the flexibility and dexterity that a real arm does, obviously. Well, the aim of modular prosthetic limb is to have the same functionality as a normal arm, all being controlled using the mind. It's a bionic arm with human-level dexterity, weight, range of motion, and force generation. As the name implies, the arm is meant to be modular, with it being able to replace an injured limb at any level. Testers for the limb have noted that they have gained the ability to differentiate between their fingers and sense the hardness of an object. It's a project developed by the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, funded under the revolutionizing prosthesis. Number 3. Propio Feet your feet do more for you than you realize. They help you navigate uneven terrain the way a robotic or prosthetic foot couldn't. Well, that is until now. The Proprio Foot is a bionic foot for helping the user navigate uneven terrain. It's an adaptive microprocessor-controlled ankle. The motor-powered ankle motion increases toe clearance in swing phase by raising the forefoot and reducing the risk of trips and falls. It also adjusts the ankle angle to changing terrain, providing stable foot placement on on stairs and inclined surfaces. It helps reduce the compensatory movements that users would usually make with traditional prosthetics. From the lightweight material, the powered ankle, and intelligent terrain adaptation, the foot will soon allow users to walk and stand naturally. Number 2. Bionic Arm with a Sense of Touch We sometimes take the sense of touch for granted. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA for short, has done a lot of research on prosthetics. Some of the company's most recent work has focused on making the wearables feel more natural, literally. The developers were able to mimic the sense of touch in a paralyzed man by placing a series of electrode arrays onto both the sensory cortex and the motor cortex. It wasn't perfect, but the subject said it almost felt like somebody was touching his hand when the researcher placed his hand on the prosthetic, and he could even tell which finger was being touched just through the sensations. And now for something a little more fun. Number 1. The Prosthetic Tattoo Machine A tattoo artist's entire living is their talent, which they need hands for, of course. If you have a lot of tattoos, you might appreciate French artist J.C. Chaton-Tenet's prosthetic arm. 
developed with the assistance of fellow French artist J.L. Gonzal. His arm is made of pieces from a typewriter, manometer, a traditional tattoo gun, and various pipes, along with the necessary sensors to detect movement. Pretty neat, right? With the help of this device, Tenet has the full range of motion he needs to tattoo intricate designs on his clients. And that's it for this video. Which one do you find most impressive? The 75 cent voice box is pretty cool. Let us know your favorite ones in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and check out more on the Simply Tech channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.